the Prime Minister of New Zealand. John Key. 1981, were you for or against the Springbok tour? Oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> 1981, uh, wasn't, was it 20, um, uh, I don't really know. I, it's, I, I, um, uh, I don't really have a strong feeling of it at the time, so yeah, look, I, uh, it's such a long time ago. Where were you? Well, I was in New Zealand, I'm just trying to think, I was in New Zealand, um, I would probably would have been my first year at university because I'm just trying to work it out, I would have been 20 then. Um, it was the hot topic, it's a yeah, hot topic at universities in 1981. Yeah, it was, um, it was. You would have been at university in 81, right? You were yeah. at university. Where did you stand on the Springbok tour? Uh, look, I've been asked that question quite a lot. I mean, frankly, I didn't have a really strong view on the tour. I certainly didn't go to uh, the games. The start. Ladies and gentlemen, please evening. welcome the Prime Minister of New Zealand, the Right Honourable John Key, and the Chairman of the International Rugby Board, Bernard Lapasse. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Rugby World Cup 2011. Over the next six weeks, New Zealand is going to play host to the 20 best rugby teams in the world as they buy for the most coveted trophy in rugby, the Webb Ellis Trophy. Shot one, take one. Action What do you think of our Prime Minister's skill with the clapboard? Well, I think not just a director, I think he, he could be an actor because he just got it right exactly, like perfectly. Yeah, yeah. we had a great shot today. It's very sweet of you. Hi David, I'm John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Love your show and happy to notice the interview with Nicole Kidman where you said you've never been down to New Zealand. So how about I give you 10 reasons to come and pay us a visit. Number 10, we have some of the best canned ham south of the equator. We're still holding bead growing contests with Peter Jackson. To the best of our knowledge, the Governor of Illinois hasn't tried to sell us. You don't have to be in bed to count sheep. Find out if the water really does go down the drain the wrong way. Our police force is actually Xena, Warrior Princess. Number four, we have adventure, awesome adventure tourism, such as foam throwing with Russell Crowe. Our scenery is nowhere near as flat as Australia's. We're the only country in the world we can still take a flight to the convoys. And the number one reason why, David, you should come down to New Zealand, hip hopping with the hoppers. So come on down, pay us a visit. I'll buy you lunch. There's a, gentleman, there's a gentleman here from New Zealand, a typical New Zealander from off the street. Not just a typical New Zealander from off the street, Pepe. Oh. Listen to this. Oh, what? Here to present tonight's top ten list, please welcome New Zealand Prime Minister John Key, ladies and gentlemen. Number nine. Listen to this. For the last six years, New Zealand has been ranked as one of the five best destinations in the world by uh, Condé Nast Traveler magazine. See? That's amazing. Yeah. Five best destinations. That's why I'm book. saying something. Beautiful. Well, it's got to be good. It's, wo it's a wonderland. New Zealand is a wonderland, isn't it? Sure is, Dave. Yes, it's, it's, and you're known as Kiwis. Do you like being known as Kiwis or not being known as Kiwis? No, we like being known as yeah. Kiwis. And you're, you're near uh, Tasmania, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, in sort of Australia. Yeah, That's uh, the other bit of Right, and what body of water are you in? Is it the uh, Pacific, Pacific Ocean? It, it is a wonderland. Uh, sure is, yeah. But, but how many years ago did you get on the plane to come here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Long Island is the long. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a long flight, though. Isn't it? Yeah. But it's well worth it. Isn't it? Once you get here, it's fantastic. Yeah. And, I, and I, 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 I think because of that flight, it works to your advantage because it keeps dopes, <laughs> keeps dopes out of out of New Zealand. <laughs> And the number one reason you should visit New England, New Zealand. Unlike most of the world, we still like Americans. There you go. It's been revealed Prime Minister John Key's appearance on the David Letterman show two years ago came about because a public relations company was paid to lobby the show. John Key read out the top ten reasons for visiting New Zealand time describing the opportunity as gold. But he was only invited on because Tourism New Zealand paid an American PR company a $10,000 retainer to raise New Zealand's profile. In my view, it uh, promoted New Zealand, uh, but there wasn't a payment made to Letterman, there wasn't a payment made uh, to get us on the show. Uh, these people worked permanently for us, they paid every month. He also admitted he made a joke audition tape, but is unaware whether it was sent to the Letterman show.